Hello and welcome. I'm Raghav and today we are going to learn about inheritance. So we have already started learning the object oriented programming concepts and in the last lesson we learned about encapsulation. Today we will learn about inheritance and then in the next session we will learn about polymorphism and abstraction. So these are the four basic concepts of object oriented programming. So coming to inheritance, inheritance is a process where one class acquires the properties from another class and you can think about inheritance in general so in general we inherit maybe some property from our parents or from somebody else so that we get all the property and in the same way in object oriented programming one class can inherit from the other class so that it gets its property methods and fields in the concept of inheritance the class from where this property is being inherited is called either a parent class or super class or base class and the class where the properties methods and fields are being inherited is called either child class or a subclass or a derived class so before i show you some hands on let me go to google and i will search for inheritance and i will go to the images and you can see here we can have a parent class or a base class and a derived class where the properties are being inherited if I show you this example this image you can see we have a class vehicle which has some functions and all these classes bus car and truck are the child classes of vehicle class and they will inherit all these functions so to show you a very simple example I will go to my Visual Studio code and in our project I will create a new file I will call this as inheritance.js and here I'm going to create a simple class I will say class car and here inside this class I'm going to have some methods so I will say set name and I will take the name as argument in this method and I will put this dot name equals name so in this method I'm getting a argument name and I'm making it uh, giving the value to the class variable name and I can have some more functions like uh, a car any car will have a start engine function so I'm creating a function for start engine and I'll just print out here engine started for whatever is the name so I'll say this dot name similarly I will say another function stop engine and here I will say engine stopped for this dot name so a very simple class which has which sets the name using the set name method and then we have two methods start engine and stop engine now I create another class I will say class uh, Toyota and now I have to inherit from the car class so the keyword is here extends extends is the keyword that we use for inheritance and I will just give the name of the class which is car here and that's it so now Toyota is the child class car is the parent class and the Toyota class will inherit all these functions methods and all the properties from car class now this class can have some of its own methods as well so let us say I say a method called top speed which will take uh, the speed for this particular car and it will print out so I'll say console.log and I will say top speed for and I'm saying this dot name so it will print whatever is the name of the car and then it will say top speed of this car is whatever is the speed that it gets as an argument here now you can see here I have used the name which is being set here in the parent class and the speed is whatever comes into this function so now I will create an object for the Toyota class I will say uh, let my car equals 
new Toyota so I have created an object by the name my car so my car is referring to that object now see I can use this object reference and I can access the methods and properties not just of the same class or its class which is Toyota but also of the parent class so I can say here my car dot set name and I can set the name I'll say this is Camry and I can say my car dot start engine and you know start engine is in the parent class but still I'm able to access it my car dot stop engine and I can also say my car dot top speed and I will give the top speed as 200 and that's it so now if I run this let us see the output I will run this and you can see it says engine started for Camry engine stopped for Camry and top speed for Camry is 200 so all this we are able to get from the parent class and also it is able to access everything from its own class which is child class so this in a very simple words what inheritance is and how you can use inheritance now with JavaScript there is another concept of prototype I will tell you and explain you about prototype in a separate session but to keep this very simple and you can understand it very well I have given this simple example and you can take some more examples you can also search online for some more examples of inheritance and do some more hands-on so that this concept is very very clear to you and I will meet you in the next lesson of JavaScript thank you so much for watching